Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to discuss about test containers in cloud. So what are test containers? Test containers are um, some low weight containers running on cloud as opposed to in your local machine and these are usually used uh, to implement lightweight business logic uh, which can run on cloud and then we can use uh, various testing frameworks for example PyTest to conduct our tests against those containers. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, understand it with a small example. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, create an account on test containers cloud. Uh, we need to create the service account uh, for my for my example. Let's name this as my name uh, create and we're going to get an access token. So we need to uh, save it and we won't be able to see it again. So let's make sure we copy it. Um, now, once we are done with that, uh, let's go and export it in our terminal tc cloud token equals to and then the token that we copied now that we have exported our token uh, we also need to install uh, the cloud agent so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna install it here okay now that we have installed our agent um since i'm going to use uh python so let me go ahead and create a new virtual environment let's name it as test containers one uh, i'm gonna use python 3.8 Okay, it already exists. Let me name it as two. Okay, now we have our virtual environment. Let's activate it. Okay, so we are in our virtual environment. Now for uh, creating a test file, we need certain packages, uh, uh, specifically test containers, PyTest and requests. So let's go ahead and install that in our virtual environment. Okay, so we have installed our packages. Um, now let's go ahead and create uh, our test file. Let's name it as test API one. So I have already written the code for it. Let me go ahead and paste it and then we can uh, see what it's doing. So basically we have first a pytest fixture uh, which is basically all the setup things that we have to do before the actual test run so in this fixture we are creating uh, a small container which is doing nothing but creating uh, an http server and then exposing its uh, port 80 and then once this setup is done we have a test method which will uh, conduct tests against that container this container will be running on cloud but the test will be running locally so in the test we are getting uh, the port which is dynamically mapped to containers port 80 and uh, the containers host ip and then we are uh, trying to do uh, a request a get request on the container and if you are able to get the successful 200 response our test uh, gets successful so that is all in all what uh, this python file is doing let's go ahead and save it so now we have our new test file now let's go ahead and run our test file and see what happens Okay, so we see that our test function, test web server, got executed on the container which was running in cloud and the test got passed. So the container was successfully running and there was an HTTP server in that container which responded to our GET request. 
So now the test got run in the cloud container to actually see that the container got uh, started in the cloud and then ran and then uh, killed itself. Let's go ahead and check our uh, test containers dashboard. And as you can see here, uh, there was some activity being shown here for this HTTPD image. So if we refresh here once more, uh, we should see this HTTPD count eight. So I have used this image eight times in the past. If we go ahead and run the test again, this should change to nine. Let's see if that happens. Yep. So we have used this image nine times. Uh, so that means we have uh, used this image to create a container nine times and that create uh, container got destroyed. So that is how in a nutshell test containers work. So this was a very small example where we started a server and then we tested that server uh, in a cloud container. Uh, for your use case, you can even create containers which are running some kind of a Postgres DB or a Redis uh, cache. And then you can actually test uh, those cache or DBs using test containers. Uh, these are very lightweight, uh, won't use resources on your local host, uh, very easy to create. So yeah, uh, that's all uh, I have for test containers. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much.